All right, Rachel is looking for a second date update with a guy named Paul, as we understand it. Hi, Rachel, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Excellent. Thanks for coming on, second date update. Thanks for putting yourself out there. No, it's You're always kind of risky because you never know how these things are going to go. Yeah. But uh, let's start from the beginning. If you could tell us how you met Paul and how that first date went, that'd be great. Okay, yeah, we met online, and we decided to meet up for coffee, so it was kind of a quick date. You know, just 45 minutes coffee date. Yeah. But it got, like, really in-depth really quickly, which I really liked. Good. I mean, we started talking about some really serious stuff just right out of the gate, and wow. I thought that was cool. Like, let's just get right to the point, you know? Okay, sure. Like, what would like what kind of topics would you cover? What did you discuss? Well, it was pretty serious, like, why my last relationship ended and, like, what my role in it was and... Do I want kids? And mm. How much is in your 401k? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was pretty serious. Like, what, what are my deal breakers? Do I want to get married? Or would I be fine just shacking up? And like, yeah, financial information. I mean, he really got right to the point, And that really worked for me. I liked it. Okay. So, so were, you unco- were you comfortable answering all the questions? Or did you squirm I mean, a little? I was, <laughs> I was a little awkward. You know, at some points, but I kind of thought, you know, cut through the bullshit, get right to the point. I mean, I asked him some questions, too. Yeah. And I just thought he was a cool guy. Like, when we left each other, I felt good about myself just for being able to be so open and honest. And I, I, you know, it left me with a really good feeling. So maybe some people wouldn't like it, but I did. Cool. So did you just do that 45-minute coffee date, or did you go on another date, like a real date after that? we've done so far okay i really want to see him again i mean i didn't feel judged or put under a microscope i just felt like you know we were getting to know each other fast and that's why i'm disappointed that i you know that we haven't gotten together again yet well that was an intense 45 minutes where you got into those serious topics about you know your relationship why didn't work out and all that good stuff so it was really very much i don't want to make it sound sterile but it sounds almost like a job interview that's what i was thinking you know so at the end of it how did that go did you just you have to leave did you wrap it up did it feel weird like what was that like well we had planned you know for it to be about that long and I was happy with the way it went. Did you tell him that at the end? Like, were you, hey, you know what? I I know this was kind of an intense discussion, but I really enjoyed it. I'd love to see you again. Did you indicate that? Yeah. I mean, we both decided, like, yeah, we're going to get in touch. We're going to see each other again. And, you know, after his being so authentic with his questions and so real, I mean, why can't he just be straightforward about whether he wants to see me again? Why put me off, right? For sure. Maybe he is scared. You know, maybe he really, really, really liked you, and he's afraid. That's one spin. <laughs> <laughs> That's or a positive maybe spin. I shouldn't have put all that out there. Like now, I'm feeling a little nervous about that because oh. I challenged myself to be so open and honest. And did you send a thank you note? Mm-hmm. And then uh-huh. there's that. <laughs> yeah. But a little feeling a little exposed right now. Yeah. I understand. All right, so what happened then? Was there any follow-up text? Like at the end, did you say, hey, thanks, that was fun, or looking Uh, forward to seeing you again, or anything like that? No, it's just what we said in person. I mean, I thought he was a really good listener, and and I said something like, okay, well, looking forward to the next time. And, you know, I mean, I thought we were really on the same page, but I texted him a couple times, and I just haven't gotten any response at all. Okay. Well, that's disappointing, and I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. But we'll call him, and we'll see what we can get out of him. Okay. If you don't mind waiting a couple of minutes, we do have to take a break here. But when we come back, we will call Paul, see what he thought of Rachel and her honest, hard-hitting answers. As Second Date Update Mm -hmm. continues next with Jeff and Jen here at Cincinnati's Q102. So Rachel met this guy, Paul, online, and they decided that their first meeting would be like a coffee date to get to know each other, see if they wanted to carry this any further. And I'll tell you what, that was an intense hour they got Right into it. The relationship questions. Why didn't your last relationship work out? They really went there. But I suppose that's a good thing. Why waste time if you're with the wrong person? So That's what they taught me at dating school all those Is years that- ago. <laughs> Clearly it's working. You know, you get into you get into, you know, the heavy stuff out of sure. the gate. Might as well. well, I mean, and it's kind of a test too. I mean, if you're the person asking the questions. Yes. You know, you're going to sense that other person's discomfort or comfort with it. And, right. you know, you can decide. 
Well, I'll tell you what, Rachel was totally okay with those serious questions, and he asked her some tough ones, but she answered them honestly. She did not feel judged at any point in that conversation, which she took as a good sign. She thought he was actually a really cool guy and was hoping to see him again. That was expressed at the end. Thought she would hear from him. A couple of texts have gone out. None of them have been returned. Rachel is disappointed. So, Rachel, if there's anything I said incorrectly or if you have anything else you want to add, now is the time before we call him. No, I mean, you guys are good listeners, too. (laughs) You got it. (laughs) All right, then we're just going to go ahead and call Paul. Hi, can we speak to Paul, please? This is. Hey, this Paul. Calling? Yes, sir. It's Jeff and Jen at Q102. How are you, man? Jeff and Jen? Why? Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> We're all here. The whole gang is here. Say hi, guys. Hi. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little taken aback. I, um, I've never had a radio station call me before. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you what. There's, uh, <laughs> you got a fan out there. And she spoke very highly of you. Uh huh. And we were wondering if you'd be okay with coming on the radio and and have a little conversation about this person. Who is this person? Uh, that would be Rachel, who you met online. You had coffee oh. with. Oh, is this a second date update? Type it is. Of thing? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, it's, it, not to sound whatever, but I've been meeting a lot of women lately. But. She's super nice. I really had a great time with her. She said That's- you guys got really intense. That you like kind of went for it when you when you started talking. I guess you went into those deep topics. Yeah, you know, we had coffee and we just kind of like laid it all out there and had a great conversation. And I like to do that because you can really get to know who a person is and what they're about, like really yeah. quickly. I'll tell you what. Uh, she she paid you a compliment. She said that when you were asking all all these really deep questions and she was answering she said at no point in her conversation with you did she ever feel judged considering that you went there yeah but now that she hasn't heard from you there is a little part of her that's feeling a little exposed like okay maybe oh. there was something there that he didn't like and if so what is it and no i honestly i was planning on calling her next week with like i had some follow-up questions like oh <laughs> I know it's like it sounds like a second like whatever like I'm interviewing her but like but you kind of are stuff. I mean isn't that kind of the whole dating process aren't you interviewing yeah. each other to find out if they're a good fit for the job it is <laughs> yeah in the end it is mm-hmm. but like you know I just find out more about this lifestyle stuff like financial philosophical some kink stuff just more <laughs> about her extended family like just yeah let's get into that yeah let's get into you the know, kink stuff yeah just <laughs> Well, you know, that's part of it, definitely. Like, sure. It all goes into the stew. So so you were going to plan a follow-up interview for next week. Is that right? Well, yeah, and I was super excited to talk to her again. Okay. Um, so then why aren't you texting her back? Well, if we you may have jumped the gun. <laughs> yeah. Do you have other interviews you're trying to get through first? That's what it feels like. <laughs> Who's going to the second round? No, it's not like, no. So what, when we left each other, I said, I'll talk to you in a couple weeks. And ah. so that was kind of my, my plan. Well, well, what is that, Fritz? Fritz just made a face. I don't know. I, I'm and just she having gestured. T- I, well, I, that was like, bye. What? Uh, <laughs> why do you say that? Because why? I feel like as the rule of Jeff goes, if he's into you, he's going to talk to you. He's going to call you back. And it's not going to take a couple of weeks. That is a rule, isn't it? I have said that before. Uh, yeah. We really should put together a glossary. <laughs> the rule of Jeff, the rule of Fran. <laughs> right. You know, gazebo. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Clearly a tier system here. No, like from my perspective, I was setting expectations. And so I think that that's fair. Like if you let somebody know exactly what you're going to do, yeah. and then that's what you do, then... You know, we had an honest conversation, and then I was honest with her. If I say I'll call you in two weeks, I'll call you in two weeks. I mean, if you're gonna, it's just on the two week time plan. (laughs) I mean, if you tell somebody I'll take you to Aruba in two weeks, yeah. I mean, that's pretty clear, right? He's really into you. He'll take you to Aruba right now, right? Exactly. (laughs) You don't get mad after two days that they haven't gone to Aruba yet. Exactly. You know when your birthday is, so 
I'll get you something on your birthday. You wait till your birthday. It's just oh, setting man. expectations. I don't know. Paul, I we're just it. messing with you. We uh, we actually have Rachel on the line right now. Say oh. hi, Rachel. <laughs> hi. Hey, Rachel. How are you? How's it going? Good. This isn't uncomfortable at all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, Paul, you made enough of an impression that she didn't want to wait those two weeks, man. So you should at least feel good about that. Oh, absolutely. And like I was saying, she she was super nice. She was a great girl. Like, I had every intention of reaching out to you next week, Rachel. And mm-hmm. I'm sorry if, you know, whatever, if mixed signals or I made things weird. But I was going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. And I looked forward to talking to you again. Okay, well, that's cool. Fine with me. I just was wondering what was going on, but you're you're very literal, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's fine with me. I'm I'm glad to talk to you again. I love it. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're obviously yeah, very you're literal. You're a literal guy, <laughs> which again can be a beautiful thing. You don't have to worry. We now know that about or Paul. Wonder. Paul is absolutely a literal yes. guy. That's totally okay. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go yeah. to his calendar for next Friday, Paul and means that's what, what he says. He says what he means. <laughs> right. What do you want to do, Paul? Do you want to you want to wait this out until we get to a full two weeks, <laughs> no, or no? If, <laughs> no, I think we. I think that's off the table at this point. Because I'll tell you what, uh, if you're willing to get together on a second date with her now for those follow-up questions, we would be happy to jump in and pay for the whole thing. Are you giving them an expiration date on the dinner that we're willing to say? You don't, yeah. You got <laughs> to go in the next week. You have 10 seconds to decide. <laughs> <laughs> start, <laughs> start the countdown. I am, I am all in. He's finally. in. All right. Yay. I love it. Well, I can't wait to hear how the second interview goes. Yeah. <laughs> But, Paul, we do appreciate you taking a call, and we wish you both the very best. Thank you so much. Thank you guys very much. This made my day, Rachel. This is hilarious and amazing, so thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport, Thanks, Paul. Guys. Let me put you guys on hold so we can set this up, and thank you both for coming on Second Date Update, all right? All right, all right thank you. Thank all right, you're you. awesome. Bye. All right. You need our help with a second date update. Just send us an email, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. All right. It's 16 after 8. Coming up, your shot at $1,000. It's the 1K letter of the day next. First, let's check the roads. We got Tori standing by here with your latest Q102 traffic. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.